I'm gonna be five years clean for my drug of choice, which is huge. Cause that, I'm sure at some points, a lot of people thought I was either gonna die or go to jail or be in the hospital or something horrible. Basically when I was a teenager, I like slowly gave everything up and just became addicted to drugs and was very sick. The first time I came to the Boys and Girls Club, I was 19 years old. I had just finished a drug and alcohol treatment program and I was living in a shelter downtown near Nexus and the treatment that I was at connected me to a counselor there. I think I kept coming back because I felt like they cared. A lot of the time I wasn't going there but they would come meet me where I was. Um, so she would come pick me up and we'd go for a drive or go for coffee and it was just genuine and it just felt like a sense of belonging. But I remember bragging to people and I remember it being a good experience. I was always excited to go see my counselor. I was always looking forward to um, different activities we would do. I connected some of my friends to that counselor or to the agency just because I thought it was that great. I met Erin when, I think the first day I met her was when I was working at the Kai Mount Boys and Girls Club as the programmer and Erin came in to do an interview to become a volunteer with us. Her counselor called up and asked if it was possible to consider her for a volunteer role. I think we, we said, you know, we'd have to do an interview and go through the whole process, but we're absolutely open to checking her out and we're really glad that we did. <laughs> I think she started probably a few days later working or volunteering with us as an activity leader. I had all of these people helping me, like so many people dedicating hours of their life to try to help me change my life. And immediately I was like, this is what I want to do. I want to help other people who are struggling. I want to, I just want to help kids have fun and live their childhood. And being at Grandview does that. Since I've been doing the one-to-one -one position and now the programmer position, I'm not necessarily the one running the program, which I used to all the time as an activity leader, um, but I definitely find time throughout my day to either go outside and kick a soccer ball with one child who's having a hard day or just going into a program that's already running and just being like, I'm on this team. The kids are amazing. They make my heart so big. I feel like a lot of them after a while started to trust me and they knew that it was a safe place to talk about what was going on for them, what was going on for their family, what was going on for their friends. It's pretty special to be able to have those conversations. In the future I would love to go back to school and one day I'd really like to be a counselor at Odyssey or Nexus. I think that would be my big goal.